Hello, and welcome to another episode of Open Scad, where we make fancy shapes and stuff. And today's episode is all about... Shapes! Do you imagine that? Aren't shapes awesome? Let's go make some shapes. Come on, let's go make some shapes. I'll show you how to make some shapes. So, what better shape to start out with and the shape that's probably the first one you ever learned. Now, I know Open Scad can make a lot more shapes than this, but we're just going to start out with square. This where it's pretty easy. You type in square, parenthesis, bracket, then your first number, let's make that 20, that's going to be your, uh, your length on the x-axis, which is that line right there. We'll get into that in a second. Then your second number, Type that in. That's going to be your length on the y-axis. And close that off with a bracket. Another comma. And then here, you're going to put if the center is true or not. Now, that's going to be easier to show you than to explain. So let's just put in true. See what happens. Now, we have a square, or rectangle more so, that is 20 millimeters by 40 millimeters on each axis and the center of said square is placed on the origin which is where all the axes meet now if we were to say that it is center is false false then the origin is on the corner which is equally useful I mean besides it's a square you just can't go wrong with squares. But besides squares, there's also circles. So let's make a circle. It's really easy. You type in circle, parenthesis, type in the radius of the circle you want. Let's do 10, another parenthesis, and then a semicolon, and press F5. And now you have a circle. What is this? Windows has detected your do 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 Don't show me this message again. Okay, we have a circle. <laughs> Sorry. Computer's derping. That is 10 inches in radius. Well, it's mostly a circle. It's circular. It's close enough. I'm happy. But I know what you're thinking. OpenSCAD's supposed to be a 3D modeler. Where's the third D? I only see two. Well, let's get into that. The next one we have is a cube. Type in cube, parenthesis, bracket, then you type in your first number. Let's do 10. That's going to be your length on the x-axis. Second number, 20. Length on the y-axis. Then third number, let's do 30. This is going to be your length on the z-axis. Otherwise, you might call it a height. Close that off with a bracket and a parenthesis, semicolon, and F5. And now we have a cube or cubic object that is 10 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 30 millimeters. And I mean, it's a cube. I like cubes. You're my only friend, cube. Oh well cubes aside. We also have cylinders. Cylinder. Cylinder? Cylinder? Oh, I'll, I'll know if I spoke. Anyway, the first number of your cylinder is going to be your height. So let's do 30. Then your next number is going to be your the radius of your bottom circle. Now let's do 10. And your third number is going to be the radius of your top circle. Let's do another 10, parenthesis, and it with a semicolon, and I failed. I spelled cylinder wrong. Cylin-in. Cylinder. There we go, I need an N. So now we have a cylinder that is exactly 30 millimeters tall and 10 millimeters in radius all the way through. But what if we want something tapered, like a cone? Well, if we want to make a cone... Just make the top zero, and you have a cone. See? It's a, it's a cone. It's like a party hat. 
and be festive. We have parties. Yay! Party in the... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, you also make it not have to come to a point. Just make the uh, top smaller. Now you have a taper going up. Or you could even make the top bigger. And you have a taper going out. And you get something that looks like this. Kind of looks like those peanut butter cups you get at the store. Hmm. I wonder if that's where they came up with I, I always wondered where they came up with the design for those little cups filled with the stuff. Anyway. And there's one more shape. It's really easy. It's sphere. You type in sphere, parenthesis, your radius, parenthesis, and do the semicolon and F5. And now we have a sphere with a radius of 10 millimeters all the way around. And just that easy. And just like circle. And just like circle, it's not quite such. It's mostly a sphere. It's very spherical. It's close enough. I am happy. I'm happy it's close enough. And that would be all of your basic shapes in OpenScan, and all the ones you really need to get started.